Former Kenton coach Mike Mock is a little bit of a mad genius when it comes to football. His philosophy is simple. He doesn't believe your defense is good enough to cover all of his receivers long enough. And no one was better at pulling the strings at quarterback in that system than his sons. First Ben, who graduated Kenton in 2003, a little over two years before the Sportsport debuted and thus not eligible for 44's top 44. And then number two on our countdown. Matty Mock, Kenton, class of 2012 football. Graduated as the national record holder for completions, 1,353 attempts, 2,110. Passing yardage, 18,932. Total yardage, 22,681. And passing touchdowns, 219. As a senior named Ohio's Mr. Football, as well as Parade and Sports Illustrated All-American, as he helped lead Kenton to the state title game. Rushed for over 3,700 yards in his career, including 1,768 as a senior. Four-year starting quarterback with a record of 42-8. Also was all-district in basketball and a four-time state qualifier in track and field. Well, Matty Mock comes from just an outstanding family. Um, you know, I coached against Ben. I, uh, I, I watched Matty, and we did a lot of ton of seven-on-sevens with him. You know, the, the thing you know about Matty was when he was third grade, Matty was going to be Kent's quarterback. He was working out. You know, you'd see him progress all the way through. I, in eighth grade, he jumped 20 feet in a, in a long jump event at, at the meet, the county meet. And I was amazed at how athletic he was. You know, Ben was a good athlete, and I think Matty had a little more athletic ability and, you know, I think Ben was a little bigger, stronger, maybe a little tougher that way, but Maddie was a better athlete. I think Maddie would have excelled in any, um, any system that you would have played him in in high school, but I think the chuck it around the yard, five wide receivers fit him perfectly. So it makes sense to run that system if he, that's the kind of player he is. And um, I, think, I think it was the player. But I think people need to understand or should understand why that system works because of the Matty Mocks. That system doesn't go into play and used if you don't have somebody with that skill level. And that speaks volumes that the system more or less is created by a Matty Mock. And uh, really exciting for the game of football. And really, if you look back, kind of changed the culture of how everybody's doing that today. You know, a lot of times it looked like he was trapped and, and uh, he made moves. And, uh, you know, a lot of that came from his brother. Uh, just watching him play, but you know he had a little special something. He had a good attitude about things, and you know he always had that it factor. He had that thing where he could just look at Bryce or one of his other receivers, you know Max, and it was almost like they knew what he was thinking, and he was transcending that to him. And they were able to uh, to hook up a lot of times with his receivers and the guys that uh, that he threw to. I think Matty was blessed with some pretty good receivers. You know, Max Morrison is on his list. Uh, Justin Sawmill are another great uh, wide receiver. I think he helped make them better, but he, he, he was blessed to have some really good wide receivers. Matty Mock was built for the system, I think, at Kenton, which, you know, you can, you can hear that and you think, wow, it was easy for him. No, it wasn't easy for him. He was a powerful athlete with his speed and with his physicalness. Plus, he was fearless. How many of those situations are quarterbacks in? He wasn't just a throwing quarterback. He was a better than average running quarterback. That's often forgotten about Matty Mock with his tremendous passing stats. In some ways, it helped bring Matty's athleticism to the forefront that their, their offensive linemen, their splits are so wide that it's really easy for defenders to get through there. And Matty, one of the words that I would use to describe Matty is he was incredibly elusive. I don't think that anyone really ever recognized how athletic Matty was until track season came around and their track team was really, like their relays were really good and he was a part of those. Uh, but I think in some aspects it helped bring his athleticism to the forefront that he was so incredibly hard to bring down. I think he was one of the toughest single athletes all around I think I've ever seen at the high school level. All the pressure was on Matty Mock and as a high school athlete he clearly came through and he's got the stats to prove it. Mock went on to play football at Missouri and was the Tigers starting quarterback in 2014. 
following off-the-field issues, he graduated from Mizzou and is transferring to Eastern Kentucky, where he will have one more year of eligibility. Maddie Mock, number two on 44's Top 44 Male Athletes. Eastern Kentucky is set to open their season in the fall at Purdue.